ocular manifestations of systemic diseases. Many diseases of the body may lead to complications in the eye and the visual pathway. The first is the group of skin and mucous membrane diseases. Acne rosacea, for example, is a telangiectasia and inflammation, redness and visible vessels in the face, small red pus-filled palms. The treatment topical avermic and azelaic acid cream, brimonidine, doxycycline, isotretinoin by the mouth, topical metronidazole cream, and tetracycline by mouth. The ocular manifestations which occur due to this disease act acne rosacea is blepharitis, inflammation of the lid margin, conjunctivitis, inflammation of the conjunctiva, and keratitis inflammation of the cornea. The second of this group is nevus of ota. It's called oculomucodermal melanocytosis. It's uh, in the form of blue hyperpigmentation occurs on the face and bluish or brownish pigment around the eye and on the sclera, like that in this figure. The treatment uh, is by laser treatment. The ocular manifestation, the nevus of the sclera in the two-thirds of the cases of this disease, and which and this is, there is risk of occurrence of secondary glaucoma. The third disease in this group is albinism. Albinism means congenital disorder, a complete or partial absence of the pigment in the skin, in the hair, and in the lashes and eyebrow, and the eye. The ocular manifestation, abnormal optic decussation, glare, ocular stray light, foveal hypoplasia, nystagmus, back and forth or rotatory nystagmus, amblyopia, strabismus, optic nerve hypoplasia, improper development of retinal pigment epithelium. The fourth disease of this group is Behcet's disease. It is an inflammatory disorder affecting the mouse by mouse sores and genital sores and arthritis. The ocular manifestation of this of Behcet's disease is in the form of anterior uveitis, in the form of iridocyclitis, or posterior uveitis, choroidal retinitis, retinal vasculitis, optic atrophy, anterior ischemic optic neuropathy, macular edema, and intracranial hypertension manifested by papilledema. The fourth disease in this group is pseudoxanthoma elasticum, or gromblad strandberg syndrome. It is a genetic disease that causes fr fragmentation of the elastic fibers in the tissues, skin and the eyes, blood vessels, atherosclerosis. The ocular manifestations on this disease is dimpling of Brook membrane called peu de range. Create cracks in the form and joint streaks manifested in the fundus, radiate out from the optic nerve, allow small blood vessels to penetrate the retina. Blood vessels sometimes leak, leading to retinal hemorrhage, like that in the figure. Sixth disease is the Steven Johnson syndrome. It's a severe skin reaction, toxic epidermal necro necrolysis. Skin begins to blister and peel, forming painful raw areas, mucous membrane in the mouth and mouth. The complication it leads to dehydration, sepsis, and pneumonia, and multiple organ failure. The ocular manifestation of this disease is eyelid blisters, blepharitis, and necrosis, and conjunctivitis. The seventh disease in this first group is Vogt Koyanagi Harada disease. It is manifested by uveitis, meningitis, and encephalitis. Multisystem autoimmune disease affects pigmented tissues which have melanin, auditory nerve in the inner ear, 
leads to deafness, vertigo, tinnitus, and skin affecting the skin and meninges. The ocular manifestation of Voktkoenagi, Voktkoenagi uh, uh, is anterior uveitis, aristoic like. In Harada, there is a posterior uveitis, choroidal retinitis. The eighth disease in this group, in the first group, is the xeroderma pigmentosa. It's a rare genetic dis disorder, decreased ability to uh, repair d DNA damage caused by ultraviolet light, severe sunburn after a few minutes in the sun, freckling in sun exposed areas, dry skin and sky skin pigmentation. While the ocular manifestation appears as conjunctivitis and corneal ulceration. The treatment avoiding exposure to sunlight, wearing protective clothes, and using sunscreen, physical and chemical. And for, uh, if there is keratosis, keratosis is treated by cryotherapy or fluorouracil. The AIDS disease in this group is atopic dermatitis in the form of eczema, eczematous dermatitis. Condition makes skin and red and itchy, common in children but can occur at any age. Chronic tends to flare periodically, may be associated with asthma or hay fever. No cure. The ocular manifestation is manifested in the eyelids by Dini Morgan infraorbital fold uh, caused by edema and periorbital pigmentation. The tenth disease in the first group is hay fever allergic rhinitis. Causes cold like signs and symptoms as runny nose, itchy eyes, congestion, sneezing. No way to avoid getting hay fever. Listen exposure to allerg allergens that cause symptoms and allergy medications. The ocular manifestation in this disease is lower eyelid venous stasis, rings under eye, allergic sh sh shiners, and eyelid edema, conjunctival edema, and conjunctival injection. The 11th disease in this first group is vernal keratoconjunctivitis called spring catar. Uh, recurrent bilateral inflammation of the conjunctiva having a periodic seasonal incidence, symptoms itchy, photophobia, lacrimation, stringy discharge, heaviness of the eyelids, palpebral form, bulb and bulb bulbar form and mixed form. The palpebral form in the upper tarsal conjunctiva, hard flat top the papillae in the cobblestone. Bulb in the form the bulbar form is red triangular congestion gelatinous thickened accumulation in of tissues, whitish raised dots along the limbus, frontal spot, the mixed form both palpebral and bulbar types. Vernal keratopathy in the form of punctate keratitis or ulcerative keratitis or corneal plaques or scarring of the cornea and pseudo geranto The next group of diseases called phacomatosis. Phacomatosis are either angiomatous angiomatosis retini, von heppel lindau disease, retinocerebellar capillary hemangiomatous, signs and symptoms, ataxia, dizziness, hypertension, renal carcinoma, pancreatic cystadenoma, Epididymitis cystadenoma, uh, cystadenoma of broad ligament of uterus, stroke, heart attacks, central nervous system hemangioplastoma. The ocular manifestation is manifested in the form of retinal hemangioplastoma and retinal detachment. The second group, the second phacomatosis is ataxia telangiectasia or Louis Barr syndrome, rare genetic form of early onset autosomal recessive ataxia, neurological and systemic symptom, no treatment. 
the ocular manifestation it's manifested by conjunctival telangiectasia prominent blood vessels and strabismus the third type of phacomatosis is encephalo trigeminal angiomatosis or third Weber syndrome encephalo facial cavernous hemangiomatosis congenital neurological and skin disorder port wine stain of the face scissors mental retardation cerebral malformation and tumors meningeal angioma the ocular manifestations are facial hemangioma and choroidal hemangioma the fourth, the fourth phacomatosis is neurofibromatosis both von Recklinghausen's disease <coughs> tumors grow in nervous system symptoms light brown spots on the skin freckles in arm pit and groin small bumps within nerves and scoliosis the ocular manifestation leash nodules on the iris or hamartoma the second type or neurofibromatosis type 2 symptoms hearing loss balance problems flesh colored skin flaps muscle wasting schwannomatosis painful on spinal and peripheral nerves ocular manifestation complicated cataract the fifth no type of phacomatosis is tuberous sclerosis or burnevi syndrome it is a benign tumor occurs in the brain kidney heart liver lungs and skin the ocular manifestation of fibromas of the eyelids retinal astrocytic hamartoma and hydrocephalus leading to papilledema the sixth type of phacomatosis is Weborn Mason Weborn Mason syndrome. It's racemous hemangiomatosis, cephalic vascular malformations, intracranial hemorrhage, ocular manifestation in the form in of proptosis, congestion of the bulbar conjunctiva, retinal vascular malformations, optic atrophy, and homonymous hemianopia. The third group of disease, systemic diseases are collagen diseases. Collagen diseases, the first is rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis there is tender, worm, swollen joints. Joint stiffness worse in the meninges and after inactivity, fatigue, fever, and loss of appetite. The ocular manifestation, keratitis leading to keratolysis, corneal perforations, episcleritis leading scleromalacia. The, there is a, a subtype called juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, ocular manifestation in, in the form of iridocyclitis. Other collagen diseases are polyarthritis or periarthritis nodosa. It's a rare disease that results from vasculitis inflammation of the blood vessels, arteries, nerves, vessel, veins, and capillaries, causing injury to the organ system. Areas affected include nerves, intestinal tract, and heart and joints. The treatment corticosteroid as prednisone or prednisolone combined with cyclophosphamine, acetoxane. The ocular manifestation of polyarthritis nodosa are retinal vascular occlusions, choroidal vascular occlusion with cotton wool spots of the retina. Other manifestations in collagen diseases are systemic lupus erythematosus, systemic autoimmune disease in which body immune system attacks healthy tissue in many parts of the body. The treatment is by non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and anti-malarials as prednisone, prednisone and mycophenolic acid and tacrolimus. The ocular manifestation of systemic lupus erythematosus are dry eye, 
conjunctivitis, scleritis, scleritis, keratitis, iridocyclitis, cataract, centroretinal artery occlusion, centroretinal vein occlusion, vitreous hemorrhage, exudative retinal detachment, and optic neuritis. The fourth type of collagen diseases are scleroderma, or progressive systemic sclerosis. It's a group of autoimmune diseases that result in changes to skin, blood vessels, muscles, and internal organs. There is no cure for scleroderma. The ocular manifestation of scleroderma are arteriosclerotic changes, posterior subcapsular cataract, eyelid stiffness and tightness, telangiectasia, xerosis, glaucoma, uveitis, and optic neuropathy. The fifth type of collagen diseases is Sjogren syndrome or keratoconjunctivitis sicca. It is an inflammatory inflammation of the salivary glands leading to dry mouth and lips and inflammation of lacrimal glands. Its ocular manifestations are loss of watery component of the tears due to atrophy of the main and accessory lacrimal gland leading to dryness or xerosis. The sixth type of collagen disease are ankylosing spondylitis or Mary's Trombelli disease in the form of arthritis of the joints of the spine, lumbar vertebrae, and joints of the spine joint the pelvis. Ocular manifestation, it occurs in the form of iridocyclitis. The seventh type of collagen diseases is dermatomyositis, long-term inflammatory disorder which affects the muscles, leading to myositis, skin rash, worsening muscle work weakness, weight loss and fever, lung inflammation. There is no cure for dermatomyositis. The ocular, its ocular manifestation is photophobia. The eighth type of collagen diseases is re reactive arthritis or Reiter's syndrome. The classic triad of consists of urethritis in men and cervicitis in women and oligoarthritis in two to four joints. Ocular manifestation occurs in the form of conjunctivitis and uveitis. The ninth type of collagen diseases is sarcoidosis. Sarcoidosis is a granuloma that begins in the lungs, large lymph nodes, arthritis, skin rash, erythema nodosum, liver, heart, and brain. Its ocular manifestation of sarcoidosis is scleral nodule, uveitis, retinitis, uveoparotid fever, it's called Hereford syndrome, anterior uveitis, parotitis, facial nerve paralysis, and fever. The tenth type of collagen disease is giant cell arthritis or Horton's disease. In the form of cr cranial arthritis, temporal arthritis, inflammation of large and medium arteries of the head, treatment by corticosteroid in the form of prednisone, one milligram per kilogram per day, ocular manifestation, occlusion of ophthalmic artery, ischemic optic neuropathy, and depression. The eleventh type of collagen diseases is the relapsing polychondritis. It's a multiple systemic episodes of inflammation and deterioration of cartilage, cause joint deformity, respiratory tract, heart valves, or blood vessels immune mediated. There is no treatment for this disease. It's ocular manifestation. <coughs> Proptosis, anterior epscleritis, scleritis, keratoconjunctivitis sicca, peripheral keratitis, anterior uveitis, keratoconus, cataract, retinal vasculitis, retinopathy, ischemic optic neuropathy. The twelfth type of these collagen diseases are granulomatosis with polyangiitis or, or called Wagner's granulomatosis. Granulomatosis and polyangiitis vasculitis of small, medium-sized vessels of the lungs and the kidneys. Its ocular manifestation is orbital pseudotumor, 
leading to proptosis, conjunctivitis, episcleritis, scleritis, uh, and you The fourth uh, group of our lecture is systemic diseases of infection, which uh, include viral infection, bacterial infection, protozoal infection, fungal infection, and parasitic infestation. The first is systemic viral infection. <coughs> uh, the measles, of rubiola or morbelli, there is contagious disease caused by measles virus. Symptoms develop 10 to 12 days after exposure to infected person and last 7 to 10 days. The symptoms, fever greater than 40 degrees centigrade or 104 degrees Fahrenheit, cough, runny nose, maculopapular erythematous rash, treatment of ibuprofen, or paracetamol. The ocular manifestation manifested by, manif by conjunctivitis. <coughs> the second systemic viral infection is chicken pox caused by varicella zoster virus, vesicular skin rash on body and head. Its ocular manifestation are lead vesicles, conjunctivitis, keratitis, and iridocyclitis. Also, the uh, infected uh, 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 viruses are congenital rubella or German measles, congenital rubella syndrome, skin rash starts on the face and spreads to the rest of the body. There is no specific treatment. The ocular manifestation of German measles are retinitis pigmentosa like disease in newly born salt and pepper fundus, cataract, macular degeneration. Also, a viral disease is human cytomegalovirus infection, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, or AIDS, chronic, like life-threatening condition caused by human immunodeficiency virus by damaging immune system, HIV interferes with body's ability to fight infection and disease. The antiretroviral agents, zidovudine, tinofovir, lenivudine, or emtricitabine. The ocular manifestation in the form of retinitis, inflammation of the retina. <coughs> The other uh, viral disease is herpes simplex. Herpes simplex infection caused by herpes simplex virus. Oral herpes causes cold sores around the mouth or the face. Genital herpes affects genitals, buttocks, or anal area. It, the ocular manifestation of herpes simplex is lead in, in the lid and the conjunctiva and the cornea. In, in the, the cornea lesion manifested by many forms may be punctate or later it became striate, then stellate, then dendritic, then amoeboid, and at last it became geographic in appearance. And uh, the other complication is acute retinal necrosis. Uh, now we shift to uh, a group of systemic bacterial infectious diseases. The first is encephalitis and meningitis, which may be viral or bacterial. Uh, the general manifestation are headache, fever, vomiting, neck stiffness, photophobia, confusion, and joint pain. <coughs> the treatment antiviral if the virus is the cause, antibiotic if the bacteria is the cause, steroids to reduce brain swelling, and the ocular manifestation is optic neuritis, inflammation of the optic nerve. The other systemic bacterial infection is tuberculosis. 
tuberculosis may be pulmonary or nervous, central nervous system or lymph nodes or urogenital or in the bowel. The ocular manifestation of tuberculosis is chronic granulomatous conjunctivitis, metastatic purulent uveitis, endophthalmitis, or granulomatous uveitis. Other bacterial infection is syphilis. Bacterial infection usually spread by sexual contact, starts as painless sore on genitals, rectum, or mouth. Stages it passes into three stages: primary, then secondary, then tertiary. The treatment is by penicillin. The ocular manifestation of syphilis is in the form of lead chancre, blepharitis. Madarosis, conjunctivitis, interstitial keratitis, episcleritis, scleritis, granulomatous uveitis, anterior or posterior, is leading to iris nodules, Archive Robertson pupil, retinitis, retinal vasculitis, totalitis, optic neuritis, or paralytic squint affecting the oculomotor, trochlear, or abducens nerve. Other bacterial infection is Whipple disease, systemic infectious disease caused by Trophyrema Whipple. Affect the heart, the brain, the joints, skin, lungs, weight loss, diarrhea, joint pain, or and arthritis. Its ocular manifestations are uveitis. Now we shift to another group, the systemic protozoal infection. The first is trick agent. TR for trachoma, IC for inclusion conjunctivitis. In trachoma, the ocular manifestation is follicles in the upper conjunctiva and panas leading to scar. The inclusion conjunctivitis in the uh, ocular manifestation is follicles in the lower conjunctiva and no panas and no scar. This is the difference between trachoma and inclusion conjunctivitis. The, the, the next group is protozoal infection. Protozoal infection, we have toxoplasmosis, parasitic disease caused by toxoplasma gondii, mild flu-like illness as muscle aches, and tender lymph nodes, scissors, and poor coordination may occur during pregnancy or congenital toxoplasmosis. The treatment, pyrimethamine, anti-malarial medication, sulfadiazine, antibiotic, and pyrimethamine, folic acid to reduce thrombocytopenia, clindamycin, spiramycin, and antibiotic. The ocular manifestation, it is com the complication is chorioretinitis, inflammation of the choroid and retina. Now we shift to the, 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 the group of fungal infection. Systemic fungal infection causes plant from plant material or animal or bird transmitted to the human being. The different types are candida albicans, histoplasmosis, coccidiodomycosis, cryptococcus, actinomyces, and streptothrix. The ocular manifestation of these fungi are keratitis and endophthalmite. The last type of infectious diseases are parasitic group. Systemic parasitic infection may be cysticercosis, tinea solium, tissue infection by pork, pork tapeworm, the treatment by cysts outside the globe, Treated with uh, anthelmintic, subcutaneous, cysticircosis, uh, surgery, praziquantil and albendazole. The ocular manifestation of cysticircosis tinea solium is in the form of subconjunctival, extraocular muscle, retinitis, subretinal cysts, 
retinal edema and retinal hemorrhage. Other systemic parasitic infection are Tuxocara. Tuxocara, there are two types, Tuxocara catis from the cat host of Tuxocara cati or dogs and foxes host of Tuxocara canis. The ocular manifestation of Tuxocara occur in uh, 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 ocular larva migraines, orbital cysts, retinal fibrosis, retinal detachment, strabismus, and retinal granuloma. Other uh, parasitic infection is echinococcus granulosus or in the form of hydati disease. Hydati dosis or echinococcosis, fetal condition caused by cysts of larva of echinococcus granu granulosus, uh, tapeworm, dog tapeworm, treatment, systemic oral albendazole, and surgery. The ocular manifestation in the form of orbital parasitic cyst. Other parasites are trichinella spiralis in it or trichinosis. It's a parasite in which occurs in rats and pigs. Uh, the treatment is antihelminthic, mebendazole, and albendazole. Uh, Onchocerciasis or river blindness. It's African river blindness, Filaria onchocerca valveolus, treatment by doxycycline, arifampicin, and ivermectin. The ocular manifestation of, of, of uh, river blindness is glaucoma, conjunctivitis, sclerosing keratitis, chorioretinitis, and optic neuritis. Other parasitic infection is Lua Lua filariasis, skin eye disease caused by nematode worm Lua Lua, bite of deer fly or, or mango fly chrysops. Uh, ocular manifestation, filarial worm migrates, migrates into the subconjunctiva called calabar swelling. Now we shift to another group away from infection that is chromosomal disorders and genetic syndrome. First of which is cry duchat syndrome, hypotonia, microcephaly, growth retardation, micrognathia, single palmar crisis, ventricular septal defect, atrial septal defect, patent ductus arteriosus, tetralogy of fallot. The ocular manifestation of cry syndrome are hypertellurism, epicanthal folds, down slanting palpebral fissures, and strabismus. The other manifestation is of chromosomal disorder, and genetic disorder syndrome are cat eye syndrome or Schmid fracaro syndrome. It's a rare condition caused by short arm and small section of long arm of the human chromosome 22 being present three trisomic or four times tetrasomic instead of usual two times. The ocular manifestation manifested by iris coloboma, defect of the iris, or down slanting palpebral fissure. The third type of chromosomal disorders are Turner syndrome. In Turner syndrome, it, it occurs in females, missing an X chromosome, short and webbed neck, low set ears, short stature, swollen hands and feet, heart defects, diabetes, low thyroid hormone, hearing problem. The ocular manifestation of Turner syndrome are epicanthus, 
the color vision disturbances, myopia or hypermetropia, strabismus, and two. The fourth type of chromosomal disorders is Batu syndrome. Batu syndrome, chromosomal abnormality causing multiple and complex organ defects. Its ocular manifestation are many, maybe micro microphthalmia or Peter's anomaly, corneal opacity, cataract, iris coloboma, fundus coloboma, retinal dysplasia, retinal detachment, nystagmus, and optic nerve hypoplasia. Other chromosomal disorders are Edward syndrome or trisomy 18. This is genetic disorder affecting the heart by heart defects, small head, jaw, clenched fists with overlapping fingers, and severe intellectual disability. Its ocular manifestation are narrow palpebral fissure and hypertellurism and upper lid ptosis. The sixth type of chromosomal anomalies are Down syndrome or trisomy 21. It's a genetic disorder with physical growth delays and intellectual disability. Its ocular manifestations are many. It may be strabismus, cataract, keratoconus, glaucoma, refractive errors, brush field spots, grayish brown or brown spots on the iris. Now we shift to the group of blood disorders or hematologic diseases which may affect the eye. The first is coagulation disorders. Number one is hemophilia. The blood does not clot normally. Treatment clotting factor number eight. The second disease of coagulation disorder is thrombocytopenia, low platelet count. The third is anticoagulant therapy, warfarin or heparin. Ocular manifestation in the form of vitreous and retinal hemorrhage. Other hematologic blood disorders are severe anemia, which is a disease in total amount of red, decrease in the total amount of red blood cells or hemoglobin in the blood or lowered ability of blood to carry oxygen. The symptoms, confusion, feeling like one is going to pass out, loss of consciousness and increased thirst. The ocular manifestations, pallor of the conjunctiva, retinal hemorrhages, and papilledema. Other blood diseases are sickle cell anemia or sickle cell disease. It's a disorder of the blood caused by inherited abnormal hemoglobin, which causes disordered sickle red blood cells, treatment by blood transfusion and folic acid. Ocular manifestation of sickle cell anemia is retinal artery occlusion, central retinal artery occlusion or branch retinal artery occlusion, and retinal neovascularization. Other blood diseases are, which may occur affecting the eye is leukemia and lymphoma. Leukemia is a cancer of blood or bone marrow, high number of leukocytes, treatment prednisone, uh, vincristine, anthracycline. Lymphoma is, is blood cancer of the lymphocytes, treatment by chemotherapy. The ocular manifestation of leukemia and lymphoma is <coughs> subconjunctival hemorrhage, orbital infiltration and proptosis, uveal nodules, retinal white cerebral center, centered hemorrhage, growth spot. <coughs> now, the, follow the following group is the cardiovascular diseases which may affect the eye. Arterial hypertension. Blood pressure in the arteries is the elevated risk factor for coronary artery disease, stroke, heart failure, peripheral vascular disease, chronic kidney disease. Ocular manifestation of arterial hypertension is a hypertensive retinopathy in the form of four grades. In grade one, there's vascular attenuation. In grade two, 
ar arteriovenous necking or arteriovenous nipping called Sela's sign. Grade 3 retinal edema, cotton wool spots, hemorrhages, copper wiring, and grade 4 disc edema, macular star or silver wiring. <coughs> or to the retinal, the cardiovascular diseases, central retinal artery occlusion, sudden acute painless loss of vision, fundus cherry red spot, pale color is caused by ischemia of the retina, branch retinal artery occlusion causes carotid artery atherosclerosis, giant cell arthritis, dissecting aneurysm and arterial spasm. <coughs> Other disease is giant cell arthritis, temporal arthritis or cranial arthritis, inflammation of the blood vessels, large and medium arteries of the head, occlusion of ophthalmic artery, ischemia and blindness. Ocular manifestation, diplopia, and arthritic anterior ischemic optic neuropathy. The fourth the cardiovascular disease is <coughs> transient ischemic attack. Transient episode of neurologic dysfunction caused by ischemia, either focal brain, or spinal cord, or retinal, without acute infarction, temporary nature of less than 24 hours of associated neurologic sy symptoms, the symptoms contralateral paralysis, sudden weakness or numbness, aphasia, slurred speech or dysarthria, mental confusion, transient ischemic attack can resolve within a few minutes or within 24 hours, ocular manifestation, amorosis to gag. Now we shift to the a group of endocrine disorders which affect the body and may affect the eye. <coughs> First is suprarenal hyperaction or Cushing syndrome. It's a collection of signs and symptoms due to prolonged exposure to cortisol. Signs and symptoms, high blood pressure, abdominal obesity, but with thin arms and legs, reddish stretch marks around red face, a flat lump between the shoulders, weak muscles, weak bones, acne, and fragile skin that heals poorly. Women may have more hair and irregular menstruation. Occasionally, there may be changes in the mood, headache, and a chronic feeling of tiredness. Ocular manifestation, metabolic cataract or glaucoma. <coughs> Other endocrine glands, there is the pancreas leading to diabetes mellitus. We have type 1 diabetes mellitus, the pancreas is failure to produce enough insulin, insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus, or juvenile diabetes, type 2 diabetes mellitus, non-insulin-dependent diabetes mellitus, or adult onset diabetes cause is uh, excessive body weight and not enough exercise. Gestational diabetes occurs when pregnant women women or women without pr previous history of diabetes develop high blood sugar level. The ocular manifestation and all of that is diabetic retinopathy with its different grades. Also, <coughs> the ocular manifestation, other ocular manifestation of diabetes in the eyelids in the form of recurrent sty, zancilasma, blepharitis, in the cornea, recurrent corneal ulcers. In the iris, there is rubiosis iridis and diabetic iris. In the retina, there is diabetic retinopathy. Diabetic retinopathy passes into different stages. The first stage is background diabetic retinopathy with microaneurysm. The second stage is non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy. Some blood vessels are blocked. The third stage is proliferative retin diabetic retinopathy, 
new blood vessels are abnormal and fragile they grow along the retina and surface of vitreous gel they have thin fragile walls they leak blood other ocular manifestations of diabetes in the lens it leads to true diabetic cataract or presenile cataract changes of refraction and hyperglycemia leads to myopia while hypoglycemia leads to hypermetropia there is fluctuation in the disease optic nerve the, there is diabetic optic neuritis optic atrophy ischemic optic neuropathy and the different uh, nerves and uh, ocular motor ocular motor nerves there is paralytic squint especially the lateral rectus paralysis that is leading to abduce uh, the uh, th the third uh, endocrine is parathyroid hypoparathyroidism decreased high secretion or activity of parathyroid hormone decreased the blood levels of calcium hypocalcemia increased level of blood phosphate phosphorus hyperphosphatemia treatment intravenous calcium gluconate ocular manifestation of para hypoparathyroidism is metabolic cat the fourth group of uh, endocrine affection is thyroid eye disease eye muscle affect the eye muscles the eyelids lacrimal glands orbital fat become inflamed eyes and eyelids become red and swollen and exophthalmic ocular manifestation of thyroid eye disease is exophthalmus thyrotoxic exophthalmus and affection of the muscle the extra ocular muscle disorder Uh, classification of Graves eye disease n n no, no, no specs the grade class O no signs or symptom class 1 only signs upper lid in ret retraction st stir with with or without upper lid lag class 2 soft tissue involvement chemosis edema of light conjunctiva and congestion class 3 proptosis and exophthalmus class 4 extraocular muscle involvement with the diplopia class 5 corneal involvement due to lag of thalmus class 6 sign sight loss due to optic nerve the clinical feature of thyroid eye disease <coughs> upper lid retraction which gives a starring look Upper lid lag, ball, bone grave sign. Upper lid does not follow the eyeball when looking downward. Infrequent or incomplete blinking, the still wag sign. Absence of forehead wrinkling on upward gaze, Geoffroy sign. Inability to keep eyelid converged, Motto sign. Spasm of levator palpebral sidereus muscle with retraction of the upper lid, a bad sign, so that sclera is visible above the cornea causes bulging eyes appearance uh, the seventh uh, is a widened palpebral eyelid opening the rimble sign eyelid spasm causing widening of the palpebral fissure as a result of retraction of the upper eyelid sclera is visible or at at upper margin of cornea and direct outward stare uh, eight tremor of the eyelids the Rosenbach sign hyperpigmentation of the eyelid gelenic sign lid leg of lower eyelid on moving eye up, upward good griffiths the s next uh, 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 endocrine is a pituitary chromophobe adenoma if the tumor is less than 10 millimeter in diameter it's called microadenoma if it is more than 10 millimeter in diameter it's called macroadenoma uh, the manifestation general manifestation of the body gigantism in children growth hormone acromegaly in adults growth hormone Cushing disease adenocorticotrophic tropic hormone hyperthyroidism thyroid stimulating hormone the ocular manifestation of the pituitary is optic chiasma compression leading by temporal hemianoma.
Now we go to the uh, group of nutritional deficiencies. First is vitamin E or retinol deficiency. The deficiency of vitamin E is treated by oral vitamin E and injectable form and vitamin E palmitate. What are the ocular manifestation of vitamin E deficiency is cirrhosis of the conjunctiva and the cornea, keratomalacia, and night blindness. The second uh, deficiency, nutritional deficiency, is vitamin B1, that is thiamine deficiency. It leads to beriberi or tobacco alcohol amblyopia, manifested by loss of appetite, Fatigue may occur gradually or suddenly. Irritability is feeling of reagitation and frustration. Reduced reflexes. Tingling sensation in arms and legs. Muscle weakness. Nausea and vomiting. The treatment by giving thiamine intravenously later orally. The ocular manifestation of vitamin B1 deficiency is ophthalmoplegia, affection of the extraocular nerves, the third, fourth, and fifth, or optic atrophy. Uh, the third the nutritional deficiency is the vitamin C deficiency or ascorbic acid deficiency, leading to scurvy, symptoms, weakness, anemia, gun, gum disease, and skin pr problems. Treatment vitamin C by mouth or by injection. Recommended dosage is one to two grams per day uh, every day, gram every day for two to three days, then 500 uh, milligram for next seven days, then 100 milligram for one to three months. The ocular manifestation of vitamin C deficiency is cataract and age-related macular degeneration. The group of metabolic disorders include galactosemia. Galactosemia is a metabolic disorder that affects the ability of metabolite galactose and milk in milk and yogurt. The ocular manifestation is sunflower cataract. The second metabolic disease is renal rickets, kidney dysfunction, causes bone disresorption and results in weak, soft bones, ocular manifestation, sunflower. Other metabolic disorders is Lewis syndrome, physical and mental handicap, primarily affects the eyes, brain, and the kidneys in males, infants with low syndrome, born with congenital cataract, ocular manifestation, sunflower cataract. Other metabolic is Wilson disease, hepatolenticular degeneration. It's genetic disorder of excess copper builds up in body, treatment by penicillamine and liver transplantation. The ocular manifestation of Wilson disease is some flower cataract or Kaiser Fleischer ring in the cornea. The other uh, metabolic disorder is Marfan syndrome. Marfan syndrome systemic pole features, pictus ex excavatum, scoliosis, hypermobile joints, long tapering fingers and toes, arachnidactyly, aortic dilatation aneurysm, mit mitral valve prolapse. Ocular manifestation of my Marfan syndrome, ectopic lentis, high myopia and astigmatism, iridodonesis, phacodonesis, retinal detachment, and subluxated lens. The sixth metabolic disease is homocystinuria. Homocystinuria, disorder of connective tissue, muscle, central nervous system, cardiovascular system, Uh, inherited uh, uh, disorder of metabolism of amino acid methionine, treatment by high doses of vitamin B6, the pyridoxin, ocular manifestation, systemic subluxated lens.
other metabolic disorder is cystinosis or Fanconi syndrome. It's a rare disorder of the kidney results in excess am amounts of glucose, bicarbonate, phosphates, uric acid, potassium, amino acids, and excreted in the urine. The, it's ocular manifestation, corneal crystal. The eighth disease of metabolic disorder is hypercholesterolemia. High cholesterol levels in the blood, treatment by statin, statins blood, uh, tablets. Uh, its ocular manifestation is zancilesma and arcasinia. The ninth metabolic disease is the mucopolysaccharidosis. Defective activity of lysosomal li enzymes which blocks degradation of mucopolysaccharide and leads to abnormal accumulation of heparin sulfate, dermatin sulfate, keratin sulfate. It has different forms. The first uh, 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 mucopolysaccharide number one is hyperlar syndrome. Number two is Hunter syndrome, uh, manifested by lysosomal storage disease and X-linked uh, recessive inheritance. The, the third type of mucopolysaccharidosis is San Filippo syndrome. The fourth is Morquio syndrome. The sixth is the Manto Lamy syndrome. The seventh is uh, Slee Sly syndrome or iris coloboma. And the ninth is uh, nat nat Natovix syndrome. The mani ocular manifestation of all these syndromes are corneal infiltration and edema. Other metabolic syndrome is mucolipidosis. We have two types, mucolipidosis type 2 and type 3. It's a group of inherited metabolic disorders that affect the body ability to carry out normal turnover of various materials within the cells, speech therapy, physical therapy, iron and vitamin B12. The ocular manifestation manifested by papillidin. Either metabolic disease, other metabolic disease is hyperlipidemia. Hyperlipidemia, abnormal elevated levels of any or all lipids or lipoproteins in the blood the normal cholesterol is less less than 200 mg per deciliter. The ocular manifestation of hyperlipidemia is zancilesma, it is the form of yellowish deposit of fat underneath the skin around the medial cancers of the eye. Other metabolic disorder is sphingolipidosis, lipid storage disorder relating to sphing go lipid metabolism common in Ashkenazi Jews. Enzyme replacement therapy is available to treat mainly Fabry disorder and Gaucher disease and people with these types of sphingolipidosis may live well into adulthood. Its forms are Fabry uh, different types, Fabry disease Gaucher disease, Neman Pick's disease, Krabbe's disease, Tezak's disease, and Sandhoff disease. The occurring manifestation of sphingolipidosis are cerebromacular degeneration and the form of cherry red spot of the. Now we shift to the group of musculoskeletal disease. Musculoskeletal diseases are uh, maybe Conradi or Hunner Mann syndrome, chondrodysplasia punctate. Uh, oc its ocular manifestation is down slanting eyelids and co complicated. Other musculoskeletal diseases are myothenia graves, long term neuromuscular disease that leads to varying degrees of skeletal muscle weakness, affected muscles of eyes and face, and swallowing trouble talking and trouble working, women under age of 40 or men over the age of 60. Ocular manifestation, double vision, diplopia, and drooping of eyelids. 
Other musculoskeletal diseases are osteogenesis imperfecta or brittle bone disease. It's a genetic disorder mainly affect the bones, results in bones that break easily, short height, loose joints, hearing loss, and breathing problems. Its ocular manifestation is blue sclera uh, be, be, and being thinner than the surrounding area. Now we shift to another group of diseases of the body which affect the eye is pulmonary diseases. First is bronchogenic carcinoma. It may be manifested by orbital metastasis, uh, in the orbit leading to proptosis and strabismus. The second is tuberculosis, pulmonary tuberculosis. Ocular manifestation of pulmonary tuberculosis is granulomatous conjunctivitis, endophthalmitis, and granulomatous uvula. Then we go to the renal diseases which may affect the eye. And the first is Alport syndrome. It's a genetic, genetic disorder, glomerulonephritis, end stage kidney disease, with hearing loss, affect the eyes when changes to lens occur. Blood in the urine is universal. Proteinuria is a feature of kidney disease. The ocular manifestation of Albert syndrome is cataract, lenticonus, and keratoconus. Other renal disorders are oculocerebrorenal syndrome or Lewy syndrome. It's an X-linked recessive disorder characterized by hypotonia, intellectual disability, proximal tubular acidosis, amino acido aciduria, proteinuria, Lewy syndrome considered a cause of Fanconi syndrome. The occult manifestation of Lewy syndrome are bilateral congenital cataract and secondary other renal problem is nephrotic syndrome. Nephrotic syndrome, a protein in the urine, low blood albumin level, swelling, water to be drawn into soft tissue, fluid in the abnormal cavity around the heart or lungs, high cholesterol, loss of molecules regulating coagulation, hence increased risk of blood clots, its ocular manifestation of nephrotic syndrome is puffiness of the eyelids in the morning. It the last group is neoplastic diseases with ocular metastasis, which may lead to orbital metastasis, intraconal, in the cone of the muscle, uh, extraocular muscles, or extraconal. These, uh, these metastases come from the breast carcinoma or lung pulmonary carcinoma or kidney or prostate gland, 20% do not know it's a primary cancer. The treatment of the orbital metastasis is by radiotherapy, chemotherapy, hormone therapy, surgery, and immunotherapy. And the uveal met metastasis may occur also in the incidence to a, a the, the majority in the choroid, about 88%. In the iris, 9%. In ciliary body, only 2%. May primary, the primary um, metastasis of transdiuvia in females from the breast, from males from, in males from the lung. The treatment by systemic chemotherapy and plaque radi radiotherapy, external beam radiation therapy, photodynamic therapy. 